Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me in what may very well be the last episode of our Hivers Only series. We've come a very long way since the start of this whole process, journey, whatever you want to call it, and I could not be happier with where we are leaving off. But, mm, but there's just a few small details we have to hash out before I'm willing to call it quits. Now, in case you guys were wondering, the goal for this episode is going to be to actually, this time, successfully capture Stone Golem Estada, the leader of the Shek Kingdom. We're going to capture her, which in turn is going to totally topple the Shek Kingdom, the last major faction. So after we destroy them, there's really not much else for us to really do. So that's going to be today's goal. We are taking multiple squads. We're going to take our Praetorian squad, which I merged into a general Southern Hiver squad, our soldier squad, and our warrior squad. I'm gonna leave my still haven't decided squad here to hold down the fort and protect the uh, the recruits, the, the workers that I just recruited. So they will be doing that while we're busy plundering and kidnapping. Now this is just a beautiful sight to see. Look at that, look at that beautiful formation. Absolutely stunning. I would not want to see this approaching my city walls, I'll tell you that. So after the last episode's failure to capture the stone Golem Estada, I was pretty upset. We went through a lot of trouble, we went through a lot of hardship, you know that battle was very hard fought. Come to find out that the stone Golem Estada is actually in the city of Stack. Not Admag, which is their capital, you know, by rights. She's in the ex-Holy Nation city of Stack. We got a formation up there. Okay, these guys just want to ruin my formation, that's awesome. Awesome. So I guess if you topple the Holy Nation, the Shek Kingdom's capital changes, and the Stone Golem Estada switches locations. Some people said they found her in Stack, some people said they found her in Agmag. So that was just, you know, annoying, really. But now we know where the Stone Golem Estada actually is. Stack, it's it's definitive, I've, I've checked, and there is absolutely no way that she's gonna be able to escape. As soon as we get there, I am going to locate her. We're gonna find her, knock her out, kidnap her, win the battle, and then leave but not before we get some practice on some Kraal's Chosen. That's a given, that's always gonna happen. That is a lovely sight, look at all that green. Now everything's loading, but I believe that city over there is Stack, right? That's gotta be it, yep, that's Stack. And who do we have here? It looks like, ah yes, soldiers of the Shek Kingdom. I should have known we'd find you here, since apparently this is your adopted capital after all. Why you would move here from Admag, I don't know, maybe because it's a lot more fertile land. Maybe you guys wanna be farmers, I have have no idea your motives. Look at this, three formations. Wow, hopefully they're not going into the city. That would suck. Let's see if we can't move just a little bit closer. I don't want to begin the battle just yet. It may be in our best interest to begin the battle at nightfall. That would probably be the, the strategic me playing, but I'm not quite sure who's playing just yet. I may I may want to attack during the daytime so you guys can actually see, you know, the battle unfold. You know what? That's what we're going to do, actually. All right, and it looks like we got two guys coming out to meet us. Uh, we've been discovered already. Good choice, guys. Good choice not bringing the rest of your army. I like it. Let's just see the battle unfold. I got to remember, I got to confiscate the weapons as we go. Where is Clacker? Clacker is in the thick of things. Oh my god, Clacker. Are there any unconscious check? There better be. Uh, it looks like I'm seeing a few. Yes. Yeah, you guys don't need these choppers. I'll just be taking those off your hands. Oh, look, it looks like uh, some reinforcements are coming. That's great for us because it means more practice. Should not be an issue. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. I wanted to find where the Stone Golem Estada actually is. Wait, is this the right city? This is Stack, right? Yeah, this is Stack. Okay, we're good. I got scared for a second. I was like, oh my God, are we at the right city? I don't know. These are Krell's Chosen. Wait a minute, hold on. I'm not fighting Krell's Chosen, am I? No, you are a shop guard. You're a hundred guardian okay that's i guess it's just a kraal's chosen formation we fought i'm just gonna keep confiscating their weapons while keeping an eye on how far my troops are progressing within the city we don't want them to get too far we don't want them to clacker is unconscious what the that is super annoying okay i guess there's not much we can do right now wait for him to get back up hopefully that's uh momentarily clacker has good toughness right yeah he's got 53 toughness he should be able to get back up after this uh 20 seconds in the meantime though let's observe the battlefield it looks like like, uh, looks like we're winning. How many of my guys are knocked out? Okay, we got a few of them knocked out. Not 
too bad. My Praetorians are my Praetorians are doing quite well. Good. Is Clacker back up? Clacker is back up. Let's make sure he does not get knocked out. Or he's getting up, I should say. And now the confiscation begins. Part of me thinks it'd be a good idea to strip them of their armor while I'm at it, but the other part says that'd take way too long, and it probably would. So this is the next best thing. Once you take away their weapon there, there's not much they can really do. Like, what are they gonna do? Knock me out with their level 5 martial arts skill? I don't think so. But you never know. Stripping them of their armor would make it certainly easier for my guys to knock them out and or kill them. But this strategy works just fine, so we'll just stick with the tried and true. How are we looking? Have we entered? Okay, this is their throne room right here. The stone golem Asada should be inside. I'm seeing some people inside, so that's good. Why are you moving like that? That was weird. I wish there was a button to just empty out your backpack. That would make this whole process go by so much faster. Okay, so we're right outside of the... Okay, they're actually coming out of the building. So I don't know if she's come out of the building yet. So what I'm gonna do is go into the building. I know it's genius. Let's take a little peek. Is she in here? Uh, oh, oh, is that her? Is that that that? Nope. Oh, well, I got super excited over nothing. All right. Maybe she does have like full armor on. I don't know. Oh crap. You know what? I'm standing right next to her. Would you look at that? I'm looking all over this building for her and she's right there. All right, Clacker. Now your mission is to get out of here without dying. Can you you do that yes you can okay good and she did not even follow us wow look at that she doesn't care she knows exactly what's oh god we're clacker you're unconscious all right well i guess we're gonna have to choose someone else to confiscate the the weapons good all right clacker why don't you give zenith here your backpack and he will continue on okay we're now inside the throne room i'm seeing a lot of red actually a lot of action going on that's exciting Let's take a look at what's going on enemy hunt moving towards the central hive we're not really worried with that just yet where is the song masada have we knocked her out yet if we have we gotta grab her she's probably the most damage dealing uh enemy here it's getting dark and i am not seeing her where is she oh my god look at this look at all the stragglers finally making it to the battle thank you guys where is she i cannot find her i'm sure she didn't run away from the battle she's gotta be here somewhere maybe she's outside i don't know she's definitely not inside that or i really don't know how to look because i am not finding her she's outside she's gotta be she's not inside i've checked like three times well I have been looking for like three in-game hours and I have not been able to come across her just yet. I've got to be just overlooking her somewhere. Oh, she's right underneath my feet. Oh my god. Well, we found her. Let's go ahead and kidnap her. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have successfully captured Stone Golem Estada. Is her name? What's her name? Esada. Not Estada. Esada. Okay, we've captured Esada. Wow, look at that. There we go. How many of you guys are unconscious? Not too many. Okay, that's good. Good. All right, Zenith, you have one mission. Don't go unconscious. I put you on passive so you shouldn't fight anybody. I cannot risk losing Stone Golem Asada. I cannot. Come too far. Killed far too many people. That would just look bad if we lost her now. Yeah, and also, I'd say I did a pretty good job at disarming the uh, the soldiers. Enemy hunt has arrived at the Central Hive. What is that? Is that the shack? If it's the shack, we may have to supervise it. Okay, it's the shack. All right, well, let's go and uh, make sure nobody dies. Ah, this is it. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Then if it's only like this dozen right here, it's not bad at all. Wow, okay. You know, pretty soon we won't even be getting these events from the Shek Kingdom because we're about to literally destroy their faction. Once we kidnap her, their faction is done. So let's uh, let's just get this over with, guys. Attack all, if you will. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and attack. Why aren't you guys attacking? Okay, not passive. There we go. Hopefully these guys can, uh, can hold them off because if they can't, they literally have access to all my workers. We may have to sneak out the back door. Okay, it looks like we're actually... Yeah, no, we're good. Good, I was starting to worry there for a second. Enemy hunt against the Central Hive has been defeated. Excellent. Go back to where the battle's truly unfolding. Let's see what's going on. At this point, there isn't much for us to do other than uh, keep knocking them out, you know, getting that skill and then healing. Would you look at this fella right here flying in midair? Nice, man. I like it. I like it a lot. Wow, well, no, that is quite the compromising position for you, buddy. Oh my god, there's a beggar right here just sitting here. Marcelo! 
Oh, now he's running away. I guess we scared him off. Okay. The non-stop killing for hours and hours beforehand didn't scare him off. But as soon as we drew attention to him, you know, he's camera shy. That's what it is. Would you just look at this? A lot of these guys are actually dead. That is very nice to see. I know these guys have a tendency of healing on me. So uh, seeing so many deceased check is quite the sight. We only have a small number of people who are still unconscious. Yeah, we have six people that are currently right now at this moment unconscious so what i'm thinking is we're gonna strap them over our shoulder and get the hell out of dodge chunky why the hell are you crawling you're trying to get out in a hurry let's go guys is that everybody out of the city it looks like it is where is zenith we want to make sure we still have the uh the faction leader whatever her name was stone golem asada excellent we still have the stone golem it looks like we have some crowds chosen are they fighting me yep they're fighting me okay well i've got to say that was extremely successful for what we set out to do we accomplished it no problem yeah honestly that could not have gone any better we did it everybody we successfully captured the leader of the Shek kingdom stone golem asada we've gotten her safely back to our base and now is the matter of deciding what to do with her all right first and foremost let's go ahead and put her in her iron box immediately everybody goes to the food priorities everybody you've got it down so we do have the option to speak to her let's see i dream of the day i break your neck bug man wow right off the bat that is pretty hostile i mean i know we captured her and kidnapped her and basically destroyed her entire faction but that is kind of uncalled for well everybody there's only one thing i could think of doing to really round up and finish this series and that's of course hibernizing the stone golem asada yeah i think that is the perfect ending to this whole story so yep come with me we're gonna take you over here to your new uh device of deliverance let's call it clacker if you wouldn't mind doing the honors there we go up oh, she does not look too happy let's just really sit back and enjoy this all right it's getting close i gotta have my medics on standby her limbs should pop off momentarily any second now all right come on oh hold on hold on yeah that's right her limbs have extra hp or whatever since she's check so they're probably gonna pop off at 200 or something like that okay one popped off all right, they're falling off. Here we go. Things are moving along now. Things are happening. Waiting for her legs. Dang. Yep, there they go. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, pick her up. Yes. Medics, let's give her first aid. Yes, let's get her first aid. Put her down. She's not going anywhere. Oh my God, she's seizing. Oh my God, this is a horrendous sight. All right, there we go. Can I put limbs on her? You know what? Maybe I can. I don't know yet. But I couldn't recruit her, but I did manage to equip her with some of our Hiver's finest prosthetics. And my God. Ah, beautiful. If you ask me, this is 110% better than what she previously had, hands down. Well, I for one want to see these new limbs of hers in action. Let's equip her with a weapon real quick. As you can see, there's a staff conveniently close. That's a perfect weapon for this job. Take the staff and be free. Up oh, there she goes. Immediately started running for the hills. Look at her just trotting along in her brand new Hiver limbs. Yes, we made those. Those are of the highest Hiver quality. I assure you. Oh, it looks like we got a Hiver dude just crawling around. I wonder if that's the same one from earlier. Now that we closed the gate, she has no nowhere to go so she has just opted to stand there all dramatic like with her arms folded oh god look at that that looks awesome i don't know what this hiver dude's problem is he's just gravitating towards her you okay buddy what you doing there you're just you're just going crazy all right that's a little weird we got a cracked out hiver just crawling around so she is armed let's see how she fares against my warrior squad i'm sure everyone's just gonna join in and there we go look at her go oh man that is beautiful look at those hiver li oh well that did not last long at all oh now the hiver's getting it well that was literally the antithesis of a fair fight but i think for uh you know her circumstances she did okay for like four seconds just gonna put her back down where she belongs there you go let's see if we can't get a medic over here yes there we go well there you go everybody the stone golem asada once a very capable and powerful leader of a great and mighty faction now she's but a mere shell of her former self but if you look on the bright side she's got some great robotic enhancements well i for one can't imagine a better ending to a series that's been as long lasting as this one has and it has been long lasting well over a year god it's got to be like a year and a half at, at this point it's been a while this series this hiver series has been going on since april 
of 2019, I believe, right? I mean, let me check. Let's see. A year ago on April the 7th of 2019. So yes, this series has been going on for a little over a year and a half. I'm at a place in this playthrough where I am comfortable saying, hey, you know what? We've accomplished a lot and there's not much left for us to do without becoming too repetitive. And after nearly 50 videos, I mean, holy hell, that's a long time for a series to be running. 50 videos. I think it's 47 videos. This should make the 48th video. But yeah, wow. I mean... It's, it's time. I hope this goes without saying, but thank you for the support. I'm sure uh, without it, this series would not have gone on for nearly as long as it did. So, ladies, gentlemen, it's been a fun ride. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like, a big thumbs up. That'd really help me out. If you want to see more content, more content like this, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That's really all I've got for right now, so keep your eyes and ears open for future content, and I will see you next time.